church at Corinth. 1 Corinthians. I'm going to read the entire text, even though we are concentrating on verses 1 through 5 today. And then we'll go on down on next week. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 through 11. I'm going to see if I can bring some clarity to these verses here. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all eat the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same spiritual drink for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. Right. But with many of them, but with many of them, hmm. God was not well pleased, oh my. for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were our examples. Paul says this was done as an example for us to the intent that we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. Neither be ye idolaters as were some of them as it is written the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play neither let us commit fornication are you with me uh -oh. as some of them committed and fell in one day Three and twenty thousand. Wow. For those of you who are counting, that's twenty three thousand. Neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpents. Mm. And here's another one. Neither murmur. Talk, gossip, hmm. yeah, neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured, and were destroyed of the destroyer. Now, he says again, all of these things happen unto them for an example. And they are written for our admonition upon the ends of the world are come. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. I want to concentrate on verse 5, verses 1 through 5. Let me read verse 5 again. But with many of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown. And so that you understand what that word means, they died. 
The implication is that their bodies were strewn around the desert in the wilderness because God was not pleased with them. I simply want to ask for the next two weeks this question and it, it is a time for you to have self-examination. I want to ask this question. Is God pleased with you? Mm. My God. I don't want you to fool around and end up dead. I just thought maybe we would ask the question. <laughs> Is God pleased with, now don't look at your neighbor. I'm talking to the man in the mirror. Come on now. And I'm asking you and you and you after you give your life a full examination, I want to know, do you feel in your heart of hearts that God is pleased with you?